and welcome to Carmen's Kitchen. Hope everybody is doing well out there. Today we're going to make some chicken goujons and a couple of very nice and tasty dips. So for this I have some flour, some egg, two eggs that I have beaten up. So if you just put your eggs into some kind of a flat container, it could be a cereal bowl, but I just put it into this so that you'll be able to see it and beat it up and add a little teaspoon of salt and between salt and pepper and a pinch of paprika then here in my next container i've got some just some breadcrumbs with a little shake of salt and pepper as well for seasoning and to make things really handy i have a tray that i've lined with tin foil then i have some of our magic baking paper and if you take the piece of the paper fit it into your dish and then if you just cut the paper and scrunch it up. And the reason why you do that is so that when your croutons are baking, they don't stick to the paper and then we don't have any need for grease. So we'll just leave that there for a moment. Then I have here two chicken breasts today. So from this I should get six good sized chicken croutons. So I've got a kitchen scissors and my chicken breast which I'm going to cut into three. Now you can make them smaller and thinner if you like. And put that into our seasoned flour. around in the breadcrumbs so that they're I mean the flour sorry so that they're coated then into your egg and small little people just love helping to do this they think it's great fun doing this job mind you it might take you four times as long to do it but it's all part of the game. When you've helped to do something, it makes eating them so much nicer. So the ones anyway, we've got dipped in the breadcrumbs. We're going to put those back into the egg again and because we're going to be double crumbing them. So back into the egg. And the breadcrumbs I made myself with just some leftover bread. If you take the bread and if you toast it, so put it in your toaster and toast it. Leave it go cold and then into your liquidizer. If you don't have a liquidizer, you might have a handheld blender. And blend it up and you get lovely crispy breadcrumbs. So back into the egg. And back into the breadcrumbs. And you can even do that with crusts of bread. You don't have to be using up slices of bread. So we're going to just put these straight then onto our sheet. So the oven is turned on to 190 degrees. And these will take 30 to 35 minutes to cook. Now if, you, if they were smaller, thinner, cut thinner, they wouldn't take so long. So just have a check on them after 20 minutes. Give them a good toss. What would be really good if you don't have anybody in your house allergic to nuts would be to chop up some peanuts as well and put them in with the breadcrumbs or some great some parmesan cheese. And in they go, so they are going into the oven now for 35 minutes. And while they're cooking, you will make some dips. And 
always wash your hands when you've been working with chicken, especially raw chicken. to make dips today so we're going to make four different dips to go with our chicken coujons and actually they cook they go with an awful lot of things so our base the base for many of them is some Greek yogurt so you can buy this fairly cheaply in most of the supermarkets so for this one this is our creamy garlic dip so here we have four tablespoons of Greek yogurt I have a one clove of chopped garlic. I've got two tablespoons of mayonnaise. I've got about a dessert spoon of chopped chives from the garden and stir up all that together. salt in the mayonnaise already so you might need any but you can always have it is. oh that's good okay. and maybe even two cloves of garlic might be do the job even better for you so that's our creamy garlic dip for a start the next one then we're going to make is a mustard dip so for this again we have our, our Greek yogurt in here and into this then I'm going to put four spoons of whole grain mustard and about another tablespoon of chopped chives. If you don't have chives you could always use the top of um, some spring onions. dip. Okay, so two down and two to go. Now because we are making the chicken goujons, we're going to make, it's like a chili jam. So for this we have a half a pepper, I have 25 grams of cherry tomatoes, I have one chili which I chopped, I have about a teaspoon of chopped ginger. And then I'm going to get my handheld blender and I'm going to blitz it. And then I'm going to... It's a bit noisy now, sorry. Tomatoes are a little bit bitter, bitter 
then add some sugar. Next thing we're going to make um, another one. So this one we're going to make a yogurt and mint. So for this we have a quarter of a cucumber that I just peeled and chopped into small pieces. We have 150 milliliters of Greek yogurt. I have a tablespoon of oil, mint, paprika, and the juice of half a lemon. Okay, so we have our yogurt is in here. We're going to put our chopped cucumber, our mint leaves, which are chopped up, a little sprinkle of paprika pepper. Okay, not too much now, just a little. And I have the juice of half a lemon. jam if you want to make it sweet all we need to do is get some sugar and if we add maybe two teaspoons of sugar and mix it together now the cherry tomatoes give it a really good color whereas if you have the large tomatoes that aren't really nice and red well the color of your of your jam is going to be a little bit pale really good. This we could do with another little bit of lemon juice. And I'm sure by now that some of our chicken cushions are cooked. So I'll just go and get them from the fridge so I could, from the oven so that I can show you. chicken cushions, which you could serve with a wedge of some wedges of lemon. And don't forget if you've got small people around, let them help, give you a hand and it'll taste all the better for them. So there's our creamy garlic dip, our, our chili jam, our mint and yogurt, our mint and yogurt dip, and our um, and our mustard dip. I hope you get to make them and that you enjoy. So cheerio, thank you for watching. See you again. Bye.